Yeah, I have a, a really incredible looking bike in front of the camera. And Jim actually actually remade the bike or got all kinds of different parts from the bike. Uh, and how long did it take you to do that, Jim? About two years. About two years? You did yeah. a beautiful job. Do it in my part time. You just put the whole thing to get to diff, just salvage parts uh, here and there? I go to swap meets and I found a few things, and then there's some things like the foot controls and uh, some of the. Uh, other things on the bike I made by hand. And you painted it? I painted it. You did the whole thing. Well, that's there incredible. Is. That's a really nice bike. Thank you. Thank you. Really, it's really a, nice bike. It's a 1948 Harley Panhead. Is it? It's a Panhead? Yes, yeah, the first year of the Panhead. Oh my gosh, those are really rare. They are. They are. That's the, I, that bike, now that you said Panhead, I, I know a little bit about bikes, but uh, that, that's worth some money. Right. Yes, they are. <laughs> yes, they are. But yeah, they built the Panhead from 1948 to 1965. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. you're, you're willing to sell it? I am willing to sell it. It might be the only panhead you ever see. Oh, no, I know where there's some more. <laughs> oh, do you? Okay. <laughs> okay. And also you do all kinds of different metal art, huh? Yes, I do. You're really uh, into it, huh? Mostly out of motorcycle parts, uh, but occasionally uh, I use some wrenches and uh, yeah. other little things that I can find. And, of course, I use uh, all steel, so all of my eyeballs and everything are solid steel balls. Like the one I'm looking at right now? That's correct. The wings on that large one, uh, the feathers are made out of uh, kitchen knives. Oh, really? I cut the Oh, yeah, off. I can see that now. That's pretty neat. Now that you look at it, you can figure that out. Oh, I like it. I like your sculpture on the, on the, on the, on the spoons and up there in the forks and everything. That's there. my mother's old silverware. I came no up kidding. with that idea about 15 years ago. Since then, I have designed an awful lot of art using old silverware. So you actually used that silverware to eat with at one time? At one time, when I was a young man, uh, we had that as tableware. Well, that's, that's pretty I'm sure you got to keep that, or is it for sale too? Yep. I now have a barrel of about 4,000 oh pieces gosh. at home really? uh, for commissioned work. But that's pretty unusual down there, the, the, the big eyeball and all the other stuff in there. Yes. That's pretty neat. I took my father's old hand drill and passed a few spark plugs, and that's my four-cylinder hand, hand drill. Was it really? Yeah. yeah you, people are really creative. You just never know what people come up with, you know. It's really nice stuff, you know. So, Jim, I understand that you came all the way up from Phoenix. Yes. And. Uh, you know Rebecca and, and Christopher here pretty good at the main Correct. stage. It's a nice thing they're doing over here for it, artists, isn't it? This is just the, the most unique thing in a nightclub that I've seen. It's great. Yeah, it really is. And they change it every month and uh, so it freshens it up for everybody. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And we've got the Thunder Valley Rally at the end of uh, this month, which my production company is putting together. And so they asked me to put together a little motorcycle theme in their art gallery. Do you have a Thunder Rally in Phoenix? No, we've got the Thunder Valley Rally in Cottonwood at the uh, end of September, September oh. 20th and 21st. We have Jack. Oh, oh that's right. That's right. Is, is, you're doing that, yep. huh? Yeah, that's my production company that uh, is putting that together. And that's Leon. Leon Russell on Saturday my, night. I, I was reading about that. that it's was, all yeah. free. It's all free. That's, yes, that's sir. fantastic, you know. Yep. Man, that guy's really a legend, Leon. Oh, there is no doubt. I, can't, I was reading his art, I couldn't believe some of the people he, he, he performed with. Oh, absolutely. He played on Doris every Day, single Beach. Sinatra, yeah. I mean... <laughs> All the Beach Boy records he played piano on. Do you must know him personally? Oh, yeah. You know Leon? Does he, did he live in Arizona? No. No, I'm just no, curious. He's back east, but back he's east? a busy man. We were very lucky to get him to come to Cottonwood. Are you Jim Powers? No, I'm Jim Moore. Jim Moore, okay, another another Jim Power, I think of Power Moore. Oh, you're Jim Moore. Yes, that's who I read about. And now I got my name right. <laughs> you're the Jim Moore. I'm the Jim Moore. Oh, you're the Jim Moore. Okay, because I, I I looked up your company and I thought it was out of California. No, no, we're out of Phoenix. You're out of Phoenix. We're out of, huh? well, actually, are Scottsdale to be point perfect. Oh yeah. So you're you're actually in the TV production business too, or no? We don't do TV productions. We do uh, grand opening parties in okay. large scale. Oh. We do motorcycle rallies, we'll do concerts, so stuff you, like that. So you know a lot of people? I know a lot of people. In Phoenix, the whole area. I've been in, in business all my life. Have you? Have you oh, really? Okay, yeah. Great, fantastic. So, uh, Jim, before I let you go here, do you want to give out a phone number or some information in regards to whatever? Um, yeah, my phone number is 623-628-1117. I do commissioned pieces, uh, just like my girlfriend Cricket. Mm -hmm. You'll meet her in a minute. Yeah. And. Uh, 
you know, if you have a large scale production that you need and you want uh, big time entertainment, you can reach me at the same number and Four Coyotes Productions, we'll put it together. We'll put it together. So you have a contact with a lot of entertainers that are in celebrity type people, huh? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yeah, yeah. But that, that, I, I, that's just really nice that, that actually the article I read about, about doing that rally here in Old Town at the 20th, to meet the person putting it together. Right, <laughs> right. There pretty, you go. That's pretty nice. There you go. Well, thanks a lot, Jim. Very have, well. have, have a good show. You bet.